Greetings from Florida. Today we're working on a 2003 to 2008 Honda Pilot. This is the left front, the driver's front. I've sped the video up to double speed to make it a little bit faster. You've got a plate behind the chrome handle and a Phillips screwdriver behind that. If you need these, you can probably find them on my website, upanddownmainstreet.com. So we're going to take that off. A little tricky to get that rod back in. Getting it out is not a problem. Just slide the clip back and you can lift it right up and unplug it. I'm taking off the side view mirror cover. It just pops off. You can't see it, but it just pops off. It's no big deal. Got a couple um, Phillips screws that hold the panel on. First, you're going to pop the switch housing off and unplug the two, sw um, the two plugs. One right there. One right there. Now you get a screw there, easy enough, and a screw right there, which, I don't know, was there an issue? Maybe that one was missing, I can't remember. I think it was missing. Well, maybe not, maybe I just need something longer to get to it. Pop off the panel. Screw seems to still be hung up there a little bit, so. I think the retainer that the screw went into came off with it. So I took off the retainer and then put it back on, if I'm not mistaken. It was either on this side or the other side. So let's see, you got a couple wiring harnesses to unplug there. You'll see that relay box, that black relay box right there. Um, you're going to be taking that off as well. You've got to plug in the relay for the window to work. Just plugging in the switch isn't enough. You need to plug in the relay as well. Normally I don't take the plastic off, but I did this just so you could see what's going on. Oh, and to make sure it's the motor, if, it's the, if you're hearing a crunching grinding sound, that's the cable. That's obviously a regulator, which comes with the motor. If you're not doing anything, if it's not making any sound at all, Tap it with a hammer and see if that gets it to work. It probably will. It's probably the motor. You're getting the whole thing either way. You're getting the regulator motor assembly either way. Taking off that relay. Three Phillips screws there to hold the speaker on. Let's get that out of the way. Again, if this is helpful for you, please hit the like button. Uh, that helps other people find it on YouTube. If you like it, other people will like it, and it makes it easier for them to find this particular video. Now, once you get that down, you've got two longer 10 millimeter bolts that hold the regulator of the glass, two longer ones. So, oh, by the way, a little WD-40 on the side channels, lightly, lightly, up and down channels. Um, they dry out and cause the glass to grab. So every three months or so, just a, a little bit of WD-40. So I put it up and I put a suction cup on it. Now we get some 10 millimeter bolts to take out. And a wiring harness right there. Out it comes. Let's grab the new one. Always check the number. Make sure that you have the right part number before you dive into the car. You don't want to get it apart and then find out you're the wrong one. So I left a few of the bolts in the old one to show, uh, which you can't see, but I left a few of them in there so I could uh, put them back in the same place on the new one. It makes it easier to, to put it back in. Just 
slide the whole contraption inside. And if you put a few of the bolts in, there's a bolt on the upper left there that hooked in, and three bolts there that hook in, or two bolts there that hook in. The one that goes on the top does not slide in. Putting those back in. Tighten them all down. I'm plugging in that relay switch on the door panel so I can put the glass, so I can put the regulator up or down a little bit to get it where those two holes are. And remember, you're using the longer 10 millimeter bolts for the ones that go from the regulator to the glass. The other ones all went into the regulator itself. A little bit of 40 there and there. This isn't that difficult. You shouldn't have any problem with it. Try not to strip or cross thread the bolts when you put them into the glass. That happens occasionally. You want to avoid that. All right, let's get the panel back on. Let's get the, the moisture barrier back on. That plastic's to prevent moisture from coming from the inside of the door to the door panel. If you buy the nice Cadillacs, and the Lincolns, you get a thicker sound baffling. There's also a bit of an issue on resetting the automatic up and down. You've got a feature where it goes up and down by itself by pressing the button once. Theoretically, Theoretically, if you hold your finger on the button and put it all the way down and continue to hold it for 10 or 15 seconds after it's down and then immediately do the same thing going up, put it up, hold it after it's already up for another 10 or 15 seconds, theoretically that'll reset it. Oftentimes it does not. So I don't know what to tell you about that. You might have to live with just holding your finger on the button to put it up and down. Next up, do a panel again. Don't forget to plug in that relay that's on the door panel or else your window's not gonna work. And then I recommend you put switch back on first. And I'll show you why in a second. Because if you drop any screws, when you put the, uh, the handle back on, they won't fall down into the door. But here I lost the screw. I had to take it off and get it out.
So as I mentioned, I like to put the switch on first. That way, once it's in, if I drop the screw that goes to the handle, it'll fall on top and not inside the door panel. A screw there, which I just dropped again. Bosch, B O S C H, Bosch Power Tools. People often ask me, best quality you can get, it really is. Best customer service, too. We've had really good luck with them. I've used everything over the years, but they've been the best by far. So now you got to use a flathead screwdriver to pull that rod out to get it in there and then close that clip on it. It's more challenging than some, but obviously it worked out just swell. Got a Phillips screw right there. I think there were usually two Phillips screws there. I think there was only one on this particular door, but usually there's two. Base plate. And that's it. Have a great day. Like the video. Go to my website if you need these. Take care.